hi everybody welcome to live blogger in this video i'll show you how to create this breadcrumbs design for your website using html and css and in the next video i'll show you how to add this to your blogger website so let's get started <laughs> Right here I have created this folder called breadcrumbs and I just opened it with VS code. Now let's create the necessary file. So let's create a new file and let's name it index.html and let's create one more file and let's name it style.css and let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS code you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code and here let's link our CSS file. So let's type link and press tab and in the SF I'll just type style.css and uh, let's start with the markup of our design so the first thing we will do is we'll create a container division and let's give it a class of breadcrumbs now in this breadcrumbs for all these elements we'll create an unordered list so let's type ul and in that we'll create list items now in the first list item we need to have this icon right here and this also needs to be a link so let's create an anchor tag now here we need to add the link of the home page for now let's type hash and in the anchor tag we need to have this icon now for this icon we're going to use a website called heroicons.com so here i'm in heroicons.com and let's search for home and let's scroll down and here we have the home icon let's select the solid version and let's click on copy svg and let's go back to our code and let's paste the svg over here and now let's open this in our browser so i have this extension called live server installed in vs code so once you have this installed, you can just right click over here on the HTML and click on open with live server. And now we can see that the icon is displayed over here. Now the next thing we need to do is create this icon right here, this arrow. So let's go back and uh, let's create a list item. And uh, in that let's create the arrow. Now for the arrow, let's go back to the hero icons website and let's search for arrow. And let's scroll down and here we have all these arrows let's select this one right here chevron right so let's click on copy svg let's go back and paste it over here and now we can see we have the home icon and the arrow now the next thing we need to have is uh, this text over here now these two are labels so we may have multiple labels in our website for the same post so let's go back and uh, let's create another li now for the labels let's create anchor tags so let's type a and uh, here i'll just type hash and here let's add the text category one and let's create one more anchor tag and uh, here i'll just type category two and uh, now we can see we have these two anchor tags over here now let's go back and uh, let's add one more arrow so i'll just go ahead and copy this list item from here and let's scroll down and paste it over here below this labels list item and now the last thing we need to do is uh, we need to add this post title so let's create another li and let's create an anchor tag and here let's add the post title so i'll just have post title now let's go back to our design and this is how it looks right now now the next thing we need to do is style this using css so here we have already linked the css file in the head section so let's go to our style.css file and first of all let's add some basic styling for the body let's add some margin so i'll just type margin and let's set it to 100 pixels and zero and before starting with all the other design let's just make the size of these icons a little smaller so that we can see all the elements so let's type breadcrumbs which is the name of the container division ul and in that we have svg so let's set the width of the svg to let's try 18 pixels and i think we can increase it a little bit let's try 20 pixels and i think that looks all right let's go back and let's start with the design of the breadcrumbs division so let's type breadcrumbs and first of all let's set the font family to roboto and sans serif and we will add a padding of 10 pixels top and bottom and 48 pixels left and right and let's also add a box shadow so let's type box shadow and let's set the values to 0 4 pixels 30 pixels negative 10 pixels rgpa 0 0 0 and 0 0.2 
Now we'll also set the width of this division to fit the content. So let's type width and let's set it to fit content. And now we can see we have the correct width. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to display all these elements one next to the other. So for that let's target the UL. So here we can see inside the breadcrumbs division we have this UL and in the UL we have all these list items. So let's type breadcrumbs UL and let's set the display to flex. And now here we can see all these elements are one next to the other. And we'll also remove these bullets. So let's type list style and let's set it to none. Right now let's align everything to the center. So let's type align items to the center. And we'll also remove the default padding and margin of the UL. So let's type padding 0 and margin 0. Now let's add some gap between these elements. So here I'll just type gap and let's set it to 8 pixels. Now here we can see that these icons are not exactly in the center. So let's select the icons. So if you scroll up here, we can see we have already selected these icons. Breadcrumbs UL SVG. So here I'll just type vertical align and set it to middle. And now we can see all the icons are exactly in the center. All right now the next thing we will do is style these anchor tags. So here we can see inside the list items we have anchor tags. So let's type breadcrumbs UL LIA. And first of all, let's remove these underlines. So let's type text decoration and let's set it to none. And we'll also set the color to black. So let's type color and let's set it to 000. Now when we hover over these elements, we need to change the color. So here we can see we have a different color when we hover over these elements. So for that, let's go back and let's type breadcrumbs UL LIA colon hover. And when we hover over this, we'll set the color to 0984E3. And now we can see that the color is changing. Now for the last element, we need to set the font weight to bold. So here let's type breadcrumbs ul li colon last child. And in the last child, we have anchor tag. So here we'll set the font weight to bold. And now we can see that the last element has this font weight of bold. Now for these arrows, we will set a lower width. So here we can see in the HTML, we have this uh, list item for the arrows. So what we will do is uh, we will add a class for these list items with the arrow. So let's type class and let's add a class of arrow. And let's scroll down and here also we have the arrow. So here for the list item, let's type class and let's give it a class of arrow. Right now let's target the arrow class. So here I'll just type breadcrumbs ul li colon arrow. And we need to target the SVG inside the arrow. So let's tap SVG and uh, let's set the width to let's try 18 pixels. And I think that looks all right. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to add a comma after the first category. So here we can see we have this comma. So for that, let's go back to our CSS and uh, let's create a selector. Let's type breadcrumbs UL LI. And for this, we will use a before selector. So if I just type a colon before and here, if I just type content and here, if you set the content to comma and now if you go back here, we can see that before all these labels, we have this comma. Now what we need to do is we need to add this comma before all the labels except the first one. So for that, we can add this selector right here. We need to type colon not and in brackets, you need to type colon first child. So what this will do is it will add the comma to all the labels except the first one. So let's go back and here we can see for the second label we have this comma. And if you go back to the HTML and if I just duplicate this label and if I just add two more labels over here and if you go back here we can see for all these other labels except the first one we have this comma. So it is working all right. So that's basically it with the design of the breadcrumbs. In the next video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger website. All right, so that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.